What's up guys, Badabing here, thanks for joining me. Today we'll be looking at increasing the cycle speed of the GHK M4. The stock GHK M4 features a mil-spec style H buffer, and the tail end is made of rubber, so when firing, the buffer hits the back of the buffer tube and creates that thud that we GHK M4 owners are all used to. The rubber piece has no bounce or any give in its reaction with its collision with the back of the buffer tube. It just slams backwards, transferring the energy into your shoulder, and is returned rather slowly thanks to the original soft GHK recoil spring. Many years ago, I made a video showing the difference between the stock spring and Vipertech spring. This would naturally increase the return speed, and thus speed up the shots, but the negative was the decreased gas efficiency. So, how do we increase the speed without affecting the gas efficiency? Let me introduce you to the FG Airsoft Lightweight Aluminium Buffer. This is almost half the weight of the GHK buffer, and has a spring attached to the tail, so during operation it will strike the end of the buffer tube and immediately catapult the bolt forward with the aid of that tail spring. And as it's lighter than the stock GHK buffer, it should increase the gas efficiency. Also included with this buffer are several washers, so the user could configure a short stroke setup for increased cyclic speed. But I've decided not to use these. The stock GHK we see here isn't too bad, it runs just fine, but if I had the choice I'd prefer it to have a quicker snap. Now, let's see how it goes with the FG buffer. Now that's more like it. The rifle has a crisper shot with the help of the buffer. Using the great GHK trigger, you can really make the rifle sing. It's beautiful. The fun just doesn't end there, you could throw in a stiffer spring and gain fast feedback yet again. RA Tech, VFC and Viper Tech are among the choices available. This spring right here is from the Tokyo Marui M4 MWS, and as most of you may know, that system is super fast. It's slightly stiffer than the GHK spring, so coupled with the FG lightweight buffer, the GHK should match TM's snappy rate of fire. Yep, that's cool. And here's what you can come to expect if you're using a CO2 magazine, using CO2 with stiffer spring and the lightweight buffer. Awesome, awesome snap. The response is insane. This upgrade has transcended the platform into something that would really dominate in the fast-paced CQB arenas, and also allowed the GHK M4 to step into the realm of competitive shooting. But I must say though, that buffer does cake your internals with grit and flecks of metal that is worn off during the operation. It's not a big deal, but it's a consequence of using this buffer and its awkward face that meets with the bolt carrier. Speaking of the buffer face, it does intrude with the closure of the upper and lower receiver, even more so when disassembling, and you'd have to tap out both pins in order to separate the two halves. Again, nothing major, that's just how it is. 
So that's another way of increasing your GHK M4 cyclic rate. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, why not hit that like and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. For regular updates and bonus material, you can visit my Facebook and Instagram pages, facebook.com forward slash badabingpictures, and on Instagram at badabingpictures. So until next time, take care of yourselves, catch you in a bit.